Seeing how Christmas is approaching, it seems relevant to talk about letters to Santa, and how better for them to reach old Saint Nick than by the Polar Express. In the 1830s, posts, parcels, and other mail were starting to be transported by train. By 1838, post was being sorted on board the trains as they travelled, so they could stop at stations along their route and deliver the appropriate mail. The system worked well, but naturally, attention was diverted to making the process faster and more efficient. The most time-consuming part of the runs was the train stopping and starting at each station, so naturally, the best solution would be to pick up and drop off post while the train was still moving. For a short while, it was common practice to slow the train down and have someone throw the bag of post out of the carriage as it passed the station, and someone on the platform would throw any post that needed to be collected into the train. While it worked, it wasn't very safe, and thus, a better solution came in the form of catcher pouches. The post vans were equipped with hooks and nets mounted on spring-loaded arms, while stations that collected post were given hooks and a large net that was set beside the track. Bags of mail were hanged off the hooks and the nets would catch the bags as the train passed. The system was used as early as 1855 in the UK and was widely used across the US, as it meant post trains didn't have to stop at smaller stations just to drop off one bag of letters. By the 1930s, the mail-on-the-fly method, as it was known in America, was essentially the backbone of the US Postal Service. This system was used all over the UK up until 1971. By this time, diesel locomotives were able to stop and accelerate significantly faster than steam locomotives, meaning it was just as efficient to stop at the station. On top of this, some parcels couldn't be delivered this way, as they could be easily damaged while being transferred from hook to net, meaning that some trains had to stop at stations anyway when parcels were being delivered. With the construction of highways and focus set on the transport of goods via road, most of these post trains died off, and along with them, the practice of throwing bags of letters out of the side of moving trains. Nonetheless though, the system worked and for over a hundred years, that's how the British and American postal systems managed to get all the children's letters to Santa. I wonder if you could do the same thing with Uber Eats. Subscribe for more.